what's your emergency? Oh, hi, uh, my name is Jennifer and I'm calling from our YouTube channel, What We Eat Tonight. So here's the situation. I'm gonna be making Bananas Foster for dessert and there might be a chance that I'm gonna set my eyebrows on fire. So I just want to request a couple of firemen to stand by at my house just in case that happens. I know, that, I know, bananas and rum are so good together. Yeah, so I just need two firemen Wait, what? What do you mean I can't do that? Bananas Fosters, it is a classic American dessert that was invented in New Orleans back in 1951. It involves bananas and rum, two of my favorite things put together and then you flambe it. It is super delicious and frankly very easy to make and it'll make you very happy after you eat it because it's got booze in it. Even though it's very delicious, it does have the potential of setting your house on fire and burning your eyebrows off, but I guarantee you if you follow this video and you do everything correctly and safely, I promise you at the end of this video you will still have your eyebrows. Can't make bananas foster without bananas, but not just any kind of bananas. The ones I have here are yellow, ripe, with just a few brown spots. This is important because you want them to be sweet, but also have a bit firmness. Otherwise, they'll just fall apart when we cook them. And bo, this is unsalted butter. Another important ingredient, brown sugar. Brown sugar complements banana very, very well. It will also give it a nice caramelly molasses flavor. Some toasted pecans, this is optional, but this will add a nice crunchiness to the bananas foster. A tiny bit of salt, and to clarify, I never use table salt in my cooking. I use sea salt. Culture salt is also a good one to use. Some ground cinnamon. Lastly, my favorite alcohol of all time, rum. I don't drink much, but I love a good rum in desserts, and rum with bananas, this is gonna be good. To make the bananas fosters, first peel two bananas and cut them in half lengthwise, and then cut them in half again in the middle like this. In a skillet or a pan, melt two tablespoons or 28 grams of butter over medium heat. Add a quarter cup, that's 60 grams of brown sugar. Give them a stir here and there and sprinkle in half a teaspoon, that's about one and a half grams of salt. I think this might be one of the best smells in the world, just brown sugar and butter. <sighs> Once the brown sugar mixture is bubbling and looks like hot lava, drop in the bananas flat side down and cook them for about two minutes per side on medium heat. After two minutes, flip them over and cook the other side for another two minutes or so. Damn, look at them bananas. They're perfectly brown and this is seriously smelling so, so good. Now comes the fun part. We're going to pour the rum in the pan and we're gonna set it on fire and burn the shit out of it. But before we do that, here are some safety tips. Have your boyfriend or trustworthy family member stand by with a fire extinguisher. And have the phone ready that's pre-dial at 911. Okay, so like, no, actually don't do any of that. When you're ready to flambe, make sure nothing flammable is over the pan and make sure there's plenty of space because the flame could be far reaching. Pour in a quarter cup of rum, that's one and a half ounce, pour from a glass, not directly from the bottle because it is super dangerous. Use a long reach lighter or a long match stick like the one I have here to ignite the fire and move your face away. Channel your inner pyro and light it. Who needs to go to Benihana for an onion volcano when you can flambe bananas and rum at home? Also, don't blow on the flame because that will set your kitchen on fire, so don't do it, okay? Once the fire died down, transfer all the bananas into a bowl and set them aside. Reduce the sauce in the pan over medium heat. Meanwhile, sprinkle in a pinch of cinnamon. I know, I forgot to do it over the fire, but it's okay. The sauce is ready when it's the consistency of a thick molasses. Remove the pan from the heat and drizzle that fine, brown sugary, burnt buttery, and rummy caramel sauce over our bananas. Then top it with a generous scoop of good quality vanilla ice cream and optionally sprinkle some toasted pecans on top. And watch the ice cream slowly melt over the sauce.
yeah, see, I still have my eyebrows. If you liked today's video, hit the like button and share it with your friends and family. And next week we will come back with a new video. Uh, I work very hard on these videos. I work full time. I edit these videos on my day off or before I go to work. I'm not asking much, just if you like what you're seeing, just hit that subscribe button and kind of, you know, just give us some love and it'll be much appreciated. And thanks for hanging out with us today. Fire, fire is fun, but just, you know, you just got to be careful. And we'll see you back in the kitchen next time.